انا اصحابي مجانين هم يغاروا من نحن كوز وي ار اولويز ريل انا اصحابي مجانين اي هاف ا ريزرفيشن فور تو اند ذا نيم ساره المدني يس بليز يا جيس از نوت هير يت اتس اوكي ثانك يو سو ماتش سويت هارت مجانين 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 انا اصحابي مجانين حبيبي مجانين مجانين is a train i should have worn at stanbury's when they were pissed that i wore a train so what in a f***ing wedding dress chanel is in a wedding gown are you f***ing kidding me now i'm always gonna look better than everybody do you know why why i was born this way deal with god you look so amazing ladies thank, thank you. you would you like to drink something yes please i would like water and i would like a glass of pinot noir sure no thank problem you. <coughs> so how's things with you I think I've been really good doing laundry, doing my husband, you know. <laughs> We're glad you're doing that. <laughs> I am definitely. Other than that, nothing much. But it's okay. nice to see you. And you? Nothing. Just spending time with Maktoum. That's it. That's nice. Yeah. Have you seen Brooks since the drama? No. Drop this Caroline and bring the real Caroline out. Are you threatening me? I dare you to drop yours and bring out the real Sarah Almadan. You're not f***ing perfect, Sarah. No. But I, I don't hold any grudge against her. Yeah, of course you don't. I think those who are hurt hurt Other those who heal yeah. heal. Yeah. So yeah. I think she just has a lot and I just wanted to know that I want to have her back. See, that's good but when you do wrong to me, I want to be f***ing petty. But I do like to be petty. I can be petty for like 10 minutes and then I remember Jesus, but his best friend Juda. That's Brooks. <laughs> I am a friend of Brooks, but then Brooks is kind of my enemy, so we're like frenemies. I compare her to Judas because Jesus trusted Judas and then Judas killed him. I know you are being like kind, loving and all that stuff, and that's really good. I feel like sometimes honestly it can come off as being preachy or judgmental towards others. And I feel like there's so much layers to you that I don't know. I want to know Sarah. Who is Sarah? When I was 14, I saw my aunt get divorced. and it was a very bad divorce it was very aggressive so i was telling myself i would never reach a day where i'm like this dependent on a family a husband and cut off a tree like my aunt and no one supporting her so by the age of 15 i started my first business then i feel like i did not live my childhood the way i should have and then i got married and the marriage was so bad i was the provider i was all of that and how old were you 27 i think 26 okay But while I was getting a divorce, I went on in life choosing friends and and men in my life based on me feeling like I'm not worth it. And you know when when your family or your friends tell you, "We told you not to marry him." I don't want to hear no. how I went wrong. No. I do mistakes and I have the rights to learn, right? Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Exactly. Agreed. This is why you see me preaching about love and kindness. Maybe try to do it in a way that we don't feel like you're judging us, like we're not good enough. She means well. You just have to understand her. It's like I, w- I started drinking alcohol in my 30s. I didn't like it. But then when I started to drink it, I liked it. I'm not preachy. So I don't know where that's coming from. Or I might know. That's why on my social media I preach indirectly. I'm trying to brainwash women to let them know that you can leave. You're not happy, you can go. When you're healed, when you've done the work, your light bothers the ones that are in the dark still. Can you take a picture of us? Of oh, course. Please. Please, please, please. And then we'll send it to to Caroline Stamberley. <laughs> What? Uh, no, trash berry. <laughs> I'm sorry to this restaurant. Look. Photo shoot. You Bold. see? <laughs> Look at that. You think we're weird? No. <laughs> you look so cool to be honest. We're not <laughs> weird. I must be high again. No hands on me in. I can take you to a place you ain't probably been. I guess we about to say Good morning, ma'am. How are you? Right Welcome. Yes, yeah, sure. Meeting. This way. Hi. Yeah, hi. How are you, Zara? Long time. Yeah, Thank long you. time. Four months, something like that. Plus Quite minus. Yeah. You're back. Yeah, I'm back. How's yeah. Serbia? Oh, good. I'm just doing some uh, project there. Yeah, Adam told me. Yeah, what's going on? What's happened? Adam's not happy. He feels like he doesn't have friends. He feels like he's being a little bit bullied. What is he saying to you? Nothing. Because he know, doesn't speak no, to me around I mean, here. No, I mean he seems uh, to be okay. He, he didn't tell me anything. 
Hmm. Bob, uh, maybe he doesn't want to tell me. I don't know. You're back now, and I told his teacher that we should meet with you. Will do. Zoran and I were married for seven and a half years. We met when I was doing an internship in New York City. He was charming. He had a really sexy accent. If I think about it now, I think that he just fed me some bad juju. I left home when I was 21, married Adam's father, and came here. Do you feel like that changed me? Yes. The main thing that bothered me was the manipulation. He was a very angry person in our marriage. I knew that no matter how long I stayed, it wasn't gonna change him. And I knew I wanted out. 